production. Hello, hello. We are live here from Italy. Yes, this is my English school webinar, level two to three. We have some lovely show and tell today for you. Whoa, wow. We'll get to that just yet. Um, shall we introduce ourselves? I think so. I am Kate. I am 28 years old. I'm from uh, America, specifically America. from Portland, and I live in San Giovanni in Persiceto. What about you? Where is San Giovanni in Persiceto? It is a small village just 20 minutes north of Bologna. Oh, very nice, beautiful. So, hello Kate, nice to see you from a distance, virtually. Um, I am Monique. I am from Los Angeles. So we are, we are both West Coasters. Yes, we are representing the West Coast of the United States of America. I'm just the state south of you. So yes, indeed. So we actually cover the three states of the West Coast because at our school, so we both teach at Bologna Midle in Bologna. And we have Kendra from Washington, Kate from Oregon, Monique from California. And that's pretty much the coast, the West Coast. There you go, three states. So, so that's me. I live in Bologna. Um, I love fruit. Mm. And I'm very happy to be doing these webinars. It is very nice at this time to be able to be here, to share with students, to continue teaching, for students to continue studying. And uh, yeah, so... Lovely. So today we have this fabulous webinar that we are doing, which is a focus activity two to three, all about describing people. So for anyone hopping on, we would like you to share what your favorite fruit is. And let me start by asking you, Kate, what is your favorite fruit? Blood orange and green wow. grape. And why? They are very tasty. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. Do you ever eat blood oranges with fennel? <laughs> you see, I love fennel, so I always incorporate fennel. But have you ever had them? In Sicily, it's quite common, actually. Really? To, make, to put blood oranges and fennel with olive oil. Mm. It's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Try it. It's really tasty. Okay. I mean, if you like fennel. I don't know if you like fennel. I like fennel. Yeah. So blood oranges and green grapes, meaning you don't like red grapes? Not not as much mm. as green. Yeah. No. Yeah. Fair mm -hmm. enough. And you? Um, good question. My favorite fruit. Well, um, it changes sometimes. But I would say right now, as of today, March 18th, 2020 at 103 p.m. My favorite fruit is strawberries. Ooh. Why? Because yesterday at the market, I bought strawberries. And this morning, I woke up and I thought, it's time for the strawberries. <laughs> so they were really, really tasty. And I hadn't eaten strawberries in quite some time. So I would say right now, my favorite fruit is, is strawberries. So. So let's do this. I'll show you a fruit and you tell me what it is and if you like it. Okay? Mm -hmm. sure. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is a green apple. Yes. And I love green apples. Wow. Love that. You are right. This is a green apple. I also love green apples. How do you like to eat or cook green apples? I like to eat them raw. <laughs> okay. With just take a, I, I take a bite, a bite, we say. Yeah. And that's it. Sweet. You know, my mom makes baked apples. Really? Yeah, I've made them sometimes too. It's quite easy. You slice it in half, put it on um, oven paper, put it in the oven, and then an hour later, you get these soft, yummy, apples but okay very good so far one uh so far you're 100 percent. okay here we go next fruit da -da 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 -da. hello and welcome whoever's joining us feel Hi. free to 
share us what your favorite fruit is. But in the meantime, da da da. Well, I think that fruit is a kiwi. Indeed. And do you like kiwi? I really like kiwi. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a, it has a lot of vitamin C. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also another way to call kiwi. I'm not sure if you've ever heard it, but it's monkey balls. Uh. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. Monkey balls. So lovely. Moving on to the next fruit. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's an orange. Do you say orange or orange? I say orange. Yeah, I have a friend from New Jersey, Carolyn, and she has a strong East Coast uh, accent. So we joke about this particular fruit. She says orange, and sometimes I'll say, I'm sorry, what? (laughs) So both are correct though, right? Orange, orange, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whatever floats your boat, lovely. All right, so shall we dive into this delightful focus activity? Mm -hmm. Can you read the title? Yes. So focus activity, two to three, describing people. Mm -hmm. And what is to describe? To describe, to give information about something that you see or that you know. Lovely. Yeah. So let's say the let's say it maybe five times. So describing, 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 describing. Can you say Des- it five times? I can. <laughs> describing, 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 describing. Awesome. So our verb is to describe. So if I say Kate, can you describe this? Sure. I can say the apple is green. Yes. The apple is round. And the apple is big. Can you see comparatively? Mm -hmm. The The apple apple is is quite big. big. Mm -hmm. I got it yesterday at the supermarket at the Conad. That's the one close to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's, it's presumably organic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Presumably organic, so. I hope it. (laughs) Yeah, I hope. I mean, it's hard to really know. I prefer to shop at farmer's markets, but they're closed. So anyways, I'm trying to eat plenty of fruit, though. So this morning I had strawberries, a kiwi, and an orange, for example. Yeah, to try vitamin C in our system, no? Mm -hmm. But all right, so moving forward. Kate, sorry, let me get the banner off. Can you kindly read this lovely description? Sure. Describing people in this focus activity, describing people with adjectives, using the verb to be, asking questions with to be, positive and negative responses. Right. So shall we conjugate the verb to be for our viewing audience? Can you conjugate it? Sure. Okay. Uh, So we have I am, you are are, he, she, it, is, we are, and they are. Awesome. Nicely done. Woo. So we, I see we have someone just joined us. Welcome. Please tell us um, where you are and what your favorite fruit is. Um, mm-hmm. We went through a couple of fruits, apples, oranges, kiwi. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lovely, good. So let us dive in. Actually, can you describe this person in the picture? Sure. So in the picture, there is a man. He is tall. He is handsome. (laughs) Um, And yeah, he is... Happy, I think. I think he's happy. I would say he is cute-ish. Cute-ish. Yeah, I, I don't think he's very handsome. I mean, yeah. he's cute. okay. Mm-hmm. I, I think he lives in Brooklyn and goes to the this the co-op. Yeah. 
And I think he eats avocado toast. I think he does. <laughs> In which case he would be a zennial? No. A millennial. <laughs> a millennial. Okay, okay, fabulous. Okay. Can anyone else describe the man? Describe this man. So we want description. So he is tall. He is, well, he has a beard. Mm -hmm. um, my brother also has a beard. Mm -hmm. um, he, what else? He is white. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's an adjective, right? He is white. Okay. He is maybe a bit arrogant. Probably. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So let us move forward and dive in to our current Focus activity three. Wait, let me get my bell here. Oh, I don't know if I can do it at the same time. Three. I can't. Three. I can count. Three, two, one. Ta -da! Ta -da -da! Okay, lovely. <laughs> All right, if you are just joining us, please share with us your name, where you're from. We like for the webinar to be interactive, so we like to hear from you. So just to remind you, I am Monique and... I am Kate. Lovely. So we see many adjectives here. Okay, so adjectives which are descriptive words, right? So adjectives. Can you think of some adjectives? Okay, any adjectives? <clears throat> sure. I can think of uh, happy, mm -hmm. sad. I can think of colors, which yeah. are Definitely. So red, green, blue. Those are adjectives. Mm -hmm. We've got another. Oh, uh, it's a carrot. Yes, it is orange. Yes. Orange. Let's see here. What color is this? That is tan. Okay, very nice. Wow, hello. Hi, Joey from Taiwan. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Joey, what is your favorite fruit? Your favorite fruit. Yeah, so Kate, you said your favorite fruit. No, it was orange right blood orange yeah blood orange which is not this mm -hmm. but close and my favorite fruit is strawberries so joey feel free to share your favorite fruit it's nice to have you here um, on this webinar today so let us take a look at these adjectives so what i thought is we'll read them but also come up with rhymes. So what are rhymes? A rhyme is a combination, okay, of two words that sound similar, okay? Yes. <clears throat> oh, nice. Joey says, my favorite fruit is apple. Cool. So Joey, red apple or green apple? Mm. Mm. Kate, do you prefer red or green apple? I prefer green apples. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. I find they have more flavor. I, I agree. I don't know. Then there's Granny Smith green apples, right? Those are the best. Where do apples come from? A lot from Washington, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Cool. So very nice. Um, Joey, good. So we were saying rhymes. So can you do the first one? Okay. The tall. Tall. Um, fall. The verb to uh, move to the ground. <laughs> the kiwi fall. is falling. The fall. kiwi falls. <laughs> you prefer red apples. Okay, nice. Joey prefers red, I prefer green, Kate prefers green. Okay, fantastic, very nice. So Joey, at home, if you want, you can also try to repeat these adjectives. Um, tall, short, good, good. We'll get there in one minute, uh, Joey. We're going to go through with rhymes first. So 
tall, fall, and small. small. <laughs> tall, okay. fall, small. Okay, I'll do the next one here. So old, sold, bold. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Want to do the next one? Sure. Happy, snappy, uh -huh. crappy. Good. Very good. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Thin, thin, win, and sin. Ooh. <laughs> okay, try the next one. Big, um, so big pig, like mm -hmm. a pig is an animal. Yeah. Big pig fig. Fig, yeah, fig is a fig is a fruit. It is not in season, but delicious. Good, and I'll do the last one. Um, cold, fold, mm -hmm. and uh, mold. Voila! <laughs> Great. Okay, good. So yes, Joey had uh, he he sees here where it says match the opposite. So we yes, we want to match. The opposite. So, yes, correct, Joey. The first one is tall and short. Oops, I have revealed the second one. <laughs> okay, so old, young. All right, let's go to the next one here. Happy. happy. Yeah, happy. What's the opposite of happy? Let us Are know. you happy, Kate? Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah, I'm happy and lucky, I think. Me too. Yeah, happy. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have my green apple to eat later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Happy. We said rhymes with happy were happy. Sappy. 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 Okay. The uh, opposite of happy. Happy. Ah, we have a comment. You are right, yes, Joey. It exactly. is happy. Happy and sad. So awesome. Well done. The next one we see thin. Mm -hmm. Thin. What, what is the opposite of thin? Mm. So, so thin. thin. If I only ate oranges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's healthy to only I eat. I don't think so. But there are people who only, um, they, uh, they only, they eat. don't eat, right? They just drink juices. Why? Why? Because. <laughs> <laughs> so can we think of, in the meantime, can we think of words that rhyme with sad? Mad. Yeah. Fad. Rad. Oh, I love rad. Rad is a good slang word. Yes. Good. Excellent, Joey. Okay. Thin, fat. Fantastic. All Perfect. Right. Good job. So the next one is big. And we could see the example here. This is big. Yeah. And what is this? Fennel. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Big and small. Yes. Yes. So fat is a little negative. It's a little negative. Yeah. So, Joey, instead of fat, you could say a synonym would be large or um, Ro robust. Robust. Mm -hmm. um, a bit. You could also say heavy. So yes, fat is not very nice. If someone says you're fat, you say, excuse me, what? It's a strong opinion. So you might say, I don't know, um, he is large. <laughs> he is heavy. Or maybe a little 
heavy. So good question, Joey. Yeah. So thin fat. What about big? Mm, big. big. The oh, that's where we were. What, what is this? Yeah, that's fennel. It's also big. Yeah. So exactly. It's big compared to a kiwi. Which is? Which is what? Okay, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. So we're looking for the opposite of a big. Like this. Can you see the size of this mug? Mm-hmm. That's a big mug. That's a big mug. I specifically went and looked for a big mug because I love herbal tea. I love it. I drink so much herbal tea. So I went, I need to find a big mug. So very happy about that. Yes, big, small, excellent. And the last one then, process of elimination is cold and thrum, hot. So why don't we read it through, Kate, one time, reading the what matches the opposites. So for example, tall and short. Exactly. Old and young. Yes. Now, how many? Mm, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, young, remember, is for people. And for objects, Monique, if I say an object is the opposite of old, we don't say the object is young. What do we Correct. say? For example, I have a new mug. New. I bought it yesterday. So new mug. Well, not yesterday, but <laughs> recently. <laughs> so yeah, good point. Young is for people. Mm -hmm. uh, so then we have thin. The th 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 th. Remember, whenever there's th, 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 th. try that, Kate. Th 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 th. <laughs> <laughs> so we need that sound. It's thin and fat. But correct, Joey, fat is not so nice. So thin and heavy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Big. So we have big and small. Great. And the last one, cold and hot. Mm. Is it cold or hot today? For me, it's in the middle. Yeah. It's not cold. It's not mm. hot. It's in the middle. Mild. How would you say that? Yeah, not Mild. hot, not cold, in between. Mm -hmm. We would say warm or mild. Warm or mild. Yeah. Mild. Excellent. Good. Okay, so let's... If there's any questions, feel free to ask. Um, we will move forward here. So we see an example. Two people. Uh, do you know these people? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. And can you describe them? Joey, we invite you also to describe these two people. Mm -hmm. So with she is, which is contracted as she's, or he is, which is contracted as he's, plus the adjective, right? Mm -hmm. so try it out. Yeah. So, for example, you could say she is thin. Mm -hmm. Ah, nice. Well yeah, done. Fantastic. She's short, he's tall. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Excellent. So let's take a look at the next one. Da -da -da. What about her? Can you describe her? Yeah, describe her. I think she is maybe a dancer. I think she is a dancer. Mm -hmm. So we want to describe her. Let's see here. Do you dance? I dance, yes. Uh, but I dance with a uh, hula hoop. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Hula hoop is the round thing where then you, it's good for your, it's very, uh, it's good for your hips, right? Your hips and your core. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, cool. So she is thin. Excellent, Joey. Let's see the next one. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Oh. Yeah, describe him. Yeah, describe him. Yeah. And you can also speak about their emotions. So does he, is he happy? Mm, I don't think he's happy, no. Not right. happy, but... Right. But I would say, what do you think he's thinking about? I think he's playing chess mm. and thinking about his next move. Yes, that is a great, uh, great thing. An old man playing chess. Yeah. Do you play chess? Uh, not well. Okay, I don't play it well either, but I do play it. I'm playing, my brother lives in New York. So they're in quarantine right now also. He is at home. And um, we're playing chess with friends. Mm -hmm. nice. Very nice, very nice, yeah. Well done, Joey, really good. Amazing, he is old, sad, and maybe worried about something, yeah. Fantastic, two thumbs up, nicely done. Old sad. Okay, we have someone else here. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. Yeah, Describe. blonde hair. Yeah, he's a, he's a young lad. Young. Yes, he's, he's in Oregon. Yes. I what is the lake called in the south? Crater Lake, is that right? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's Crater so, Lake. We want to describe him. I have a joke. Okay. Bye bye, Joey. Thank you. It's been very nice to have bye. you. Bye. Be well. Okay, so let's see here. Can you describe him? Sure. Okay. So he, I know he's not old. Correct. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so I think he's probably young. Okay. He, probably young. So he he's, is or contracted. He's. Yeah, he is young, becomes. He's young. Yes. He's young. He's hot? No. No, he's <laughs> like 12. <laughs> he's happy. He's happy. Yeah. Um, he is um, thin. Yes, he is thin. He's probably small, actually. Yeah, exactly. He's a, he's a baby. He's a baby. He has a little baby. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. All right. Okay. Ooh, she is hot. Definitely. Okay. Very nice. She is hot. She is hot. She is hot. Both. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. What else can we say about her? She is. Uh, yeah. Does she seem happy? Mm. Yeah. Mm. What is that? I would, say, I would say she is okay. Yeah. So I'm not happy. I'm not sad. I'm okay. Okay. Hello, Milano Meravigli. They say she's fabulous. Wonderful. And I think what we would say in response is, you're fabulous. So lovely. You're fabulous. Thank you. Good usage of the verb to be in the third person. Very nice. She is fabulous. Kate, do you think she is fabulous? I think she is fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous, lovely. Okay, let's move forward. Um, next one. Okay, so I think she is not hot mm. because she is wearing a sweater. She's wearing a jumper or what we call a hoodie. A hoodie, yes, that is a hoodie. Yeah, a jumper with a hood like this. <laughs> exactly. oh, do you have a hoodie? Uh, I have many hoodies. Oh, nice. I have one hoodie. 
but I love hoodies. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yes, we see Milano Meravigli blushing. So are they saying she is blushing? I think they are blushing. I think too. they are blushing too. Are. Also, feel free, Milano Meravigli, to tell us what your favorite fruit is. We yes. have seen many fruits today, such as... An orange. Oh, yes. A kiwi. Also known as... Oh, I don't want to say it. <laughs> it's okay to say it. Okay. A you think it's not appropriate to say? A monkey sphere. <laughs> <laughs> no, so in Los Angeles, where I'm from, we call kiwi monkey balls. So just some special vocabulary. And this one here, is this fruit? No. What? It's a root. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> and it is called? Ginger. Oh, yes. Can you say that five times? Yes. Ginger. 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 Ginger, ginger. Fabulous. Wow, Milano Meravigli has exotic tastes. Ah, passion fruits. Yeah, delicious. Can you find passion fruit in Milan? I wonder. I'm sure. I had, my favorite fruit is strawberries, like I mentioned before, and I got them at the supermarket yesterday and ate them this morning, and it was heavenly. Yes. And Kate, remind me of your favorite fruit. My favorite fruits are uh, green grapes and blood oranges. Yeah. Delightful. Delightful. So we'll move past her and see this next group. Two people. Can we describe these two people? Mm -hmm. Sure. So it looks like yeah she's not happy so the girl with the red hair mm -hmm. she's not very happy i no. think she's probably sad mm. okay yeah yeah and on the right i think we should you know earlier joey said something interesting mm -hmm. he said that the old man looked worried yeah exactly we can call that up again she looks worried so she, that is the emotion you mm -hmm. see on the girl in purple on yeah the yeah i would say yeah she looks worried and we could say she is young right they are young Ooh. Very good. nice so we've got the plural they they are, are, don't forget that conjugation, young. So Kate, I want to share something with you. If you look at the banner now, look what it says. Ta -da. They are young and we are young. Indeed. We can also include Milano Meravigli in this. We, we are, are young. young. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> so moving forward. Okay. So, wow, what a wonderful smile. Mm -hmm. A smile. Exactly. This is a smile. So she is smiling. Mm -hmm. It's an activity. Yes. So we use ing. She is smiling. Right. So Dude, she we got some present continuous action. What is she? Can anybody tell us what is she with an adjective? What is she? Ooh, that's tough. She is, uh, she is, let's see, she is happy, I would say. I think she's happy. She is mm, young. She is young. I and think. I would take the same adjective that we saw earlier. She is fabulous. She right? is fabulous. And she goes two snaps up because she is fabulous. So look out, world, because she is fabulous. Okay. Excellent. So moving forward here, it's. Now, why do we say it's and not he or she? Well, it's a, it's a cherry. 
And I don't think there are male or female <laughs> cherries. However, Kate, I have something very interesting to share with you that I learned from the farmer at the farmer's market, which is fennel. You know, I love fennel. <laughs> there is male and female fennel. I'm not kidding. Female fennel is the one you cook. Oh. And male fennel, you tends to be larger and you eat it raw. Oh. I have no idea how to tell the difference. Is it a boy fennel or a girl fennel? I just think fennel is delicious, regardless of its gender. Yeah, gender. Yes, no, so exactly. Here we are with a cherry, and it's it's an object or a food so yes. when we have something that is an object or a food in the third person singular so he she it we use it so what adjective would you use to describe the cherry hmm. well it is red it nice. is small i think yeah i would say it is cute oh is cute? i like the adjective cute cute meaning adorable sometimes we go like this oh pinch its cheeks it's so cute <laughs> it is cute it is uh let's see can we think of other adjectives it is nice it's nice we can just keep going back to fabulous because fabulous is a fantastic adjective. It, it is, is fabulous. fabulous. Maybe we try it and say it is delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is maybe it's old. I hope not. Right. We said before young is only for people, but old is both for people and objects. So it's old. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> This morning there was one cherry, uh, one strawberry that was a bit old. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like, bleh. <laughs> rest, I can't even tell you how delicious these strawberries were. Nice. Incredible, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have one more fruit here. Are you ready? Ah, now that is a very wonderful summer fruit. Can anybody tell us if you if you're here? Can you tell <laughs> in the comments section? <laughs> Hello. Um, what kind? What what fruit is that? What what fruit? Does anybody know? Good mm. question. What fruit is this? Very very common in mm. Italy, right? Yes yes. It's a wonderful summer. Fruit. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of water content as well, so very healthy for us. It does, <laughs> it's true. Like many, uh, I think <laughs> it's the fennel. I just keep, <laughs> you know, I think I'll have this fennel for lunch too, but <laughs> it has a lot of water content as well, just yeah. like zucchini, um, uh, celery, cucumber. Mm. Yeah. So that's a hint. Can, I wonder if we could Drink try lots of water. Mm. If we were in school right now, in the class, I would do this. What would you do? Tell us. I would do this and ask you and everyone to guess some letters. Can you see it? Okay. I can. I can see okay. you. Yeah. So this game is called Hangman. However, it's a little bit not practical in this setting. So why don't we give a clue? It's a uh, water plus one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a water. Do you like crossword puzzles? I do. Yeah. I really like crossword My puzzles. brother does too. I like them, but my brother is really into them. I can't remember if he does the New York Times. I think it's the New York Times. 
Mm -hmm. It sometimes does the New Yorker as well, but the New York Times crossword section is like really, really difficult. Yes. And he does it. I'm really impressed. Yeah. I do the more, I do more the Italian one. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep it in the bathroom and, and it's very nice to kind of, I think it's very good for the minds too. Mm -hmm. Which think, crossword puzzle do you like? I don't have any I do frequently, but mm -hmm. I um, when I have a newspaper, I will find the crossword and I will take only the crossword and leave the rest of the newspaper for anybody else. Right. And I'll just do it. But in general, um, I have not uh, done crosswords uh, since. I was a child, really. Really? You know, it's interesting. In um, in the States, in newspapers, we always have the comics section, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you notice, in Italian newspapers, there is not a comic section. No. Which is unfortunate because, especially like the Sunday newspaper, it's really healthy for our minds to have art in a newspaper, right? To have drawings. It it opens your mind, right? But, so we're back to it's a water five letters more. What could it be? Can we guess ourselves? Sure, it's, why don't we? It's so, a water okay. plate. It's a water plate. <laughs> a, not quite. What a, a plate is a flat object we eat on. Okay, what about it's a water onion? Closer, but an onion is a vegetable. We Ta -da. Can you guess? Can you guess something else with five letters? I can. Okay, I think it is a water melon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amazing. Do you like watermelon? I do. It's I nice. Love yeah, it's nice, very, very refreshing in summer. Mm. It's a wow. watermelon. And can so, you describe that watermelon? Sure, it's green. And I think it's, and remember, it is, contraction, it's, it's big. Yeah, it's, it's large. big and green. Yeah, it is, it's, it's big and green. And it's, Delicious and fabulous. Let's remember fabulous, everyone, fabulous. So moving forward then, are you? So who am I? Kate, who am I? Who am I? Okay. Um, are you uh, the queen? Yes, I am the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I am the queen of my own palace, which is my bedroom <laughs> are you the queen yes i am <laughs> the queen of me exactly we are all the queen of our queendoms <laughs> okay so to ask a question with the verb to be what we do is we switch around the subject and the verb so for example she is the queen. The question we take, she is, flop it around and say, is she the queen? So in this case, are you, for example, Kate, are you Madonna? I am not Madonna. <laughs> okay. Are you Madonna? I am not Madonna, but I like Madonna. Mm -hmm. um, are you... Are you zero calcare? I am. <laughs> wow. I Congratulations love. on your artwork. Did you see zero calcare did a vignette on Rai about his experience going to the supermarket? It is very, very funny. Have you seen it? No, that's great. I'll have to. Yeah, I will share it with you because it's amazing. So... Let's see here. Can you ask me another question? Are you? Sure. So why don't we also practice with some adjectives? Good idea. Yeah. So, 
let's see. Are you um, are you old? No, I'm not old. Are you old? I am not old. No. Are you um, happy? I am happy. Are you? I am very happy. Okay. So I'm, I'm showing up here for everyone. Are you? We can say are you with a noun. Mm -hmm. Or are you adjective? So for the an example, are you a teacher? Are you happy? So Kate, are you a teacher? I am a teacher. Are you a teacher? I am a teacher as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you teach? I teach English. Very nice. And I teach English and charango, which sure. is an instrument from South America. Nice. Yes. So let's see. Can we ask more adjectives? Are you fabulous? I am fabulous. <laughs> Are you fabulous? I am somewhat fabulous. No, <laughs> I am. No, I am very fabulous. Yes. Okay. I am fabulous. Yes. You're fabulous. Are you sad? Sometimes, mm -hmm. but now, no. Very nice. So you are you saying you are not sad? I am not sad. So we can say Kate is not sad. Yes. Kate is happy. And let's put a smiley face with that. So Kate is not sad. Da -da -da -da. Kate is happy. Da -da -da. Big giant smile. Yeah, fabulous. Okay, so let's move forward and see true and false. Can you read the true? Sure. True. I am a student. I am 20 years old. I am British. Lovely. And I'll read the same true so they can hear. We don't have very different accents, but perhaps a little bit different, no? Um, so I am a student. I am 20 years old. I am British. Yeah. Perhaps if she's British, we would use the British accent. So. Can you, Kate, turn those into negatives from the positive to the negative that I am a student? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I could say for the negative, I'm not a student. I'm not 20 years old. We take the subject and the verb to be we put them together, so I'm, and then we add the word not. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a student. Good. He's not British, also mm -hmm. for third person. Yeah. They're not 20 years old. Nice. So I wrote it down so we can see too. I am a student, positive, affirmative, negative. I am not a student. And we can contract it, like Kate said, to be I'm not a student. Hmm. So I am a student. I'm not a student. So, okay. And the next one, I am 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you put that in the negative? I'm not. 20 years old. Lovely. And the last one, I am British. I'm not British. Fabulous. Good. Okay. So for the false here, mm. I am a doctor. I am 44 years old. I am from France. Is this true for me, Kate? Uh, are you a doctor? Sometimes. <laughs> I am. <laughs> With fennel. Oh, yes, good point. Fennel has a lot of benefits. For <laughs> good, good point, good point. Good for digestion. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you are not 44 years old. Correct. Uh, how old are you? You're, you're not. I'm 42 years old. Yeah. So you... I'm almost 44 years old. Nah. You're 32 years exactly, old. Exactly, 32. I was. <laughs> and the last one. And I am not. So I'm not, or wait, you, sorry. Yeah. You are not from France. You are right? not from France. No, I am not from France. Are you from France? No. 
Okay, lovely. So Kate is not sad, Kate is happy. We are not sad. We are happy. As we come to the end of this lovely webinar, we will leave you the link to join the Facebook group called My S S O S English. If you have any more questions, you can certainly go there. We thank you very much. It's been a joy and a pleasure, and we will see you soon in 10 minutes. There will be another webinar just for you. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice afternoon and a nice lunch. Woo!